Making this album has been a hugely different experience. We started making it back in 2013. It's been a massive journey, almost two years in the making, and I'm ready to get it out. I'm ready to start playing it to heaps of people. Me living in Wellington most of that time and Danny in Wanaka, I'd fly back to Wanaka to the studio, and so it was always concentrated periods where we'd be there just solely to write music. You kind of like have to turn on the creativity light and be like, okay, go. Writing with someone else and pushing someone else's music with you involved is a lot different. The direction that we head in is definitely still influenced by a lot of what I listen to, but then you hear what Martin listens to and it's completely different than what I like. That infused into what I've got, that's where we meet, I guess. We definitely have clashed, and in, um, in minor ways. It's kind of stupid headbutting because we're both a bit too like stubborn to just be like, oh, it's cool, bro, I totally understand. Working with Martin, it's real good because we get super feisty each other, but also really, really productive and really understand each other on a level that is good for creative types. Playing the gigs as Ana de la Moore has been a, another journey because when we first started, we were like just the two of us. We were doing the sound system sets, which was really fun, but quite boring for Danny. We always wanted to be a live band, but we didn't have the resources or the equipment. Once we took it to the next step of getting Ricky on board and playing our first show with him was like, just it went from here to like there, straight away from all of us, because we were all actually performing, actually playing instruments and playing stuff. Bringing Ricky on board and actually performing all the music and all the sounds, replicating them live has been really cool and a challenge and but really rewarding. Our single is going to be called The Watcher. It kind of came about quite quickly. From start to finish it only took not even a day and then the mix down was, was the part where we kind of got real creative and got deep in there with Benny Tones up in the studio. Not only is he the man, he's got the greatest ears that I've heard. Working with someone else's take on our music, which was really beneficial to us because we'd already heard it so much. You know, the, the songs were 95% finished and then he came along, made them sound awesome. Every gig that we do, we're getting tighter, we're making changes to our live setup, our gear, and I think in a year's time it's going to be so, so much better.